Here at Marlins Park in Miami, I'm Kevin McAlpin with 680 The Fan and the Atlanta Braves Radio Network, getting you set for the Braves and the Fish. It's a four-game series starting tonight at 7.10 p.m. Eastern right here at Marlins Park. Braves have played really well against the Marlins this season. They're 10-2 and against Miami, and they give the ball to Dallas Keuchel here tonight in Game 1. Eliezer Hernandez gets the ball for the Fish here in the series opener. Braves are 68-48. and They're 20 games over 500. The lead in the NL East over the Nationals is 6. It is now 8 over the third-place Phillies and eight and a half over those hard-charging Mets who a couple of weeks ago were out of playoff contention, out of the conversation, all of a sudden now just a couple of games back of that wild card spot. So keep a close eye on the New York Mets. Their schedule does get significantly harder as it goes forward. Meanwhile, for the Fish, while well, they've lost six in a row, they were swept by the Mets up in New York earlier this week. They are 42-71, and 71, dead last here in the National League East. Of course, uh, really just in the beginning process, beginning stages of their rebuilding uh, theory here in Miami. So it's probably going to be a few more years till this team gets back into relevancy and again hey we've all been there we know what they're going through here in South Florida how about yesterday an 11-7 win for the Braves in Minnesota they take two out of three from the AL Central leading twins Ozzy Albies and Freddie Freeman with back-to-back -back homers in the first inning so they wasted no time getting on the scoreboard 12th time this season the Braves have hit back-to-back -back home runs that is the uh, franchise record for a single season it's also the most in Major League Baseball here this year and of course we do know that Ronald Acuna Jr. added a two-run homer late in the ball game in the top of the eighth inning. That's number 29 for him. So entering play here tonight, he's one homer and four stolen bases shy of joining the 30-30 club. If he does so, he'll become the first player in baseball history under the age of 22 since Mike Trout to do so back in 2012. And of course, as we know, only three other players in Braves franchise history have gone out there and reached the 30-30 club. Hank Aaron, Dale Murphy, and Ron Gant, who did it twice in 90 and 91. So of course, that's what we're keeping a very close eye on here. And with 46 games to go, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of 40-40. We'll see what happens, and that would certainly be very exclusive company for Ronald Acuna, but still a long way to go. Let's get first things first. Let's get to 30-30, then we'll start worrying about 40-40. How about Ozzy Albies? Continues to flourish in the two-hole, four for five in yesterday's ball game. Again, a couple of home runs for Ozzy yesterday. He's hitting 480 over his last five games. He's hit safely in all five of those ball games. Charlie Culberson getting another start at shortstop yesterday. He was four for five. He was uh, tied his career high with his fourth career four hit game. So, of course, uh, with Johan Camargo struggling, the Braves giving Charlie Culberson some more opportunities to start at shortstop. Now, the news yesterday wasn't all good. We do know that Austin Riley was placed on the injured list with a right knee injury. It happened on Tuesday while he was working out in the weight room. Uh, what I've been told is he felt a pop in his knee. Now, the good news is I did see him last night and I saw him again today moving around pretty well. So I'm not going to speculate as far as the severity of the injury. At some point, he is going to go back to Atlanta and be seen by team doctors and get further evaluated. But for now, he told me earlier today he is feeling a whole lot better today than he was at this time yesterday. So hopefully Austin Riley was able to dodge a major injury. Still waiting on an update on Dansby Swanson, who still remains back in Atlanta, rehabbing, uh, and we're hoping we were hoping to see him at some point on the road trip. Uh, but at this point, he's going to need to probably get at least two games worth of that bats and run around in the field. So I'm I'm probably thinking here in Miami is maybe a long shot at this point for us to see Dansby Swanson coming off the injured list. As I mentioned, Dallas Keuchel gets the ball here tonight in game number one against Miami. He's three and four with a 386 earned run average in nine starts with the Braves. He's gone seven or more in those uh, four of those first nine starts with Atlanta. Faced Miami back on July 7th. That was the finale of the first half at SunTrust Park. That game that Charlie Culberson saved the day with his throw in left field. He went seven and a third in that ball game. Allowed two earned on five hits. Walked one. Struck out four. So Dallas Keuchel making his 10th start with the Braves here tonight in game number one. Meanwhile, Eliezer Hernandez gets the ball for the Marlins, 25-year-old righty out of Venezuela. He's 1-4 with a 566 ERA on the season. He's bounced between the rotation and the bullpen, and of course the Braves have seen him a couple of times this year. Saw him back in Atlanta in that game on July the 7th. He pitched the sixth inning, uh, but the home run balls have been a major issue for Hernandez. He's given up 11 long balls in his last 41 innings pitched. That is a concern if you're Miami with uh, the way this offense for the Braves has been swinging the bats here with Acuna and Albies and Freeman and even Josh Donaldson uh, here of late. So uh, the Braves offense has to like their chances with a guy who's been known to give up home run balls. As I mentioned, the Braves are 10-2 and against Miami here in their first 12 games. They've got four here, then they'll head back to Atlanta for a day off on Monday. Uh, this will wrap up a stretch of 17 consecutive days without a day off for the Braves. Again, they're really starting to roll here, two out of three against uh, Minnesota, and they'll look to keep that mojo rolling here tonight at Marlins Park. Again, it's Keuchel, it's Hernandez, it's a 7-10 first pitch. Hopefully you can join Ben Ingram and Joe Simpson right here on 680 The Fan and the Atlanta Braves Radio Network.